Hey guys, welcome back. I am making lots of little dishes for our Sunday feast today. Um, and obviously I thought I will share the recipes with you. Uh, but one of the main parts of the meal is um, are some pita bread. Uh, and you must have heard about pita bread. They are absolutely gorgeous flat breads and they are so super simple to make. They just need a little bit of time to prove. That's with like any other bread, uh, but they are very simple to make. So uh, let me show you how. And before I forget, can I please remind you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that every time hit the bell button, so that every time I share a recipe, you get a notification so you don't miss out on any of the good stuff. I'm going to start the dough with 400 grams of plain flour in a bowl of a stand mixer. Add a teaspoon of salt to this and a teaspoon of fast action yeast teaspoon of sugar I'm using golden custard but you could use any other so in the same flour bowl I've got a 180 ml of warm lukewarm water and I'm just going to add 20 ml of whole milk to this and this will be our liquid for the dough so first I'm going to give this a mix quickly and then get this on the stand so I'm going to turn the mixer on slowly and then slowly add this liquid and this doesn't look like it's had enough uh, liquid so I'm just going to add another uh, 20 ml of uh, lukewarm water which is why I like to do this by hand so I know if the dough is ready now it looks right so that was a total of 230 ml of lukewarm water so 200 ml of lukewarm water and 30 ml of milk now i'm going to knead this for a good eight minutes so that's been kneading for seven minutes and it's looking quite ready and nicely done i'm just going to add some good quality olive oil in a bowl just going to spread the oil and then we have this absolutely gorgeous beautiful dough ready and this needs to brew for an hour so i'm just gonna let it rest in here and let it do its thing don't forget to cover it with a lid or some cloth or something so this dough has rested for just over an hour look at this oh so nice it's just such a gorgeous dough and now i'm gonna get this out and divide it into six portions try to be as um, similar size as possible I'm just gonna make it into even balls and then do the same with all I'm just gonna cover this with a clean damp tea towel and leave it for um, 15 20 minutes half an hour so now after half an hour of rest I'm gonna roll these out 
and just make sure you use a damp tea towel otherwise they will dry out and you definitely don't want that so I'm just gonna um, kind of treat it like a chapati really just a normal flat bread I want to roll it out to like a four to five inch circle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them on the shelf here to kind of rise for another half an hour just to let it rest for another half an hour that should be good enough so I'm going to spread some flour on here and start placing them one by one And now all I have to do is um, cover them with a damp tea towel and I'm, I've got them here lying here, six of them and I'm just gonna just cover them with a damp tea towel and I'm gonna come back to this in half an hour. And while the pita bread is resting, I've got the oven nice and heating up. I'm going to prepare a really quick hummus. I have shared recipes for hummus before. You can find the link in the description of like a variety of different kinds of hummus. But I'm making a, um, just a basic lovely hummus for the pita breads right now. Well, I'm just going to prepare um, some hummus. So I've got here two tinned um, chickpeas, tins of chickpeas. I'm going to add most of it in the blender, just going to keep a handful for topping it, putting it on top of the hummus, ready hummus. Now goes in a good um, two to three heaped tablespoon of tahini. Just going to add all the lime juice to this couple of cloves of garlic really important to have good amount of salt so um, just adding two big pinches of sea salt also going to throw in some pinch of sumac last thing to go in is um, two tablespoon of uh, Greek yogurt some of the chickpea liquid from the tin left i'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of that and then mix it that creamy hummus oh absolutely love it just going to spread this nicely and this um, leftover chickpeas first I'm going to add some olive oil then I'm going to add the leftover chickpeas yum 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 just going to finish it with tons of coriander uh, so when you're ready to bake the pita bread, I've got the oven nice and hot at 220 fan, which is around 240. See, basically on a bread uh, baking um, setting. And if you don't have that, just go as uh, maximum on your uh, oven. And I've got two baking sheets and I'm going to put this into the oven to heat up while the oven is heating up uh, because I need to put the pitters to bake on a hot tray it's time to put the pitters in so i'm gonna get the tray out there it's so hot just gonna put some flour on top just put the pitters on top okay gonna do this one-handed for sure just gonna And they're going to go straight into the hot oven for four to five minutes not 45 minutes
and six minutes and they are done. And if you go any more golden, then they get really, really crispy. So I'm just going to leave it at this and then nice and soft. So for some reason, my mic uh, in this video has turned off. So I'm just going to lip sync is in here. And I'm just saying that um, they are they have puffed up and I also want to just make sure that you know that not all of them might puff up just like chapatis some chapatis will puff up some might not but it is not going to change the flavor and the texture of the pita bread um, and mine got stuck on the surface I didn't flower it very well so obviously if it's stuck if it's torn then it won't puff up but here they are easy simple pita bread i'm going to serve it with hummus and a lot of other things i'm going to take you to the table and show you um, all that i've made to serve with it i'm going to be sharing some of these recipes in this coming week so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe this is a beautiful creamy hummus that is going with the pita bread also on the table there is um, some falafel there is pita bread there is a smashed cucumber salad with a little bit of chili sauce and a beautiful lentil bulgur wheat thing. It's coming this week, I promise. A little bit of yogurt dip, um, some beetroot chutney and a lovely roast aubergine dip as well. So here it is sitting down with my friends to enjoy this lovely meze feast. See you guys soon.